What is up guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog. I got a package today. So we're going to open it up. I'm actually uploading a video right now. You guys are going to have video tomorrow. Um, it's good times. Look, I haven't made any progress on this car. Um, I wanted to finish it. I, I do want to start working on it again. Our club raced on Tuesday, so I really hadn't much, had much time. And I ended up not doing anything RC related yesterday, which was nice. And tonight, I got home a little late. So, let's open this package. So, this package is from Techno. It looks small, right? Well, guess what, guys? This package actually has 72 items in it. So, let's get to opening this package. I'll throw this out, still perfectly fine. Let's move all the stuff over. No leaky diff. And open this up. Techno is super quick with shipping. If you ever order from the Techno site, if you order during um, during work hours, they will literally probably they will literally have the package out within like the next 30 minutes. So this one came super quick. I placed this order. I believe I placed this order maybe Monday, and it's already here. So let's go through this thing invoice we don't need that let's put this down here most of the stuff is spares but i do have some cool stuff in here oh this is cool i got this i ordered the shock i mean not the shock wrench the uh this is the shock cap tool and wheel wrench the techno one i've been using the same wheel wrench for probably probably as long as i've been racing so it's got to be 10 years old i decided Hey, Techno has a cool one, so I'm just, I'm changing it up. It's still a good wheel wrench, that other one I have, but now I have a new one, and this one's cool and Techno, so. I got Techno wheel wrench, and these are going to be a bunch of spares. I'm going to go through these really quick. Um, guys always ask what kind of spares do I keep, or what kind of spares should you, um, should you stock. This is a combination of buggy and, A scale buggy and my 10 scale stuff spare, so. Hinge pin pills, these are the inserts, hinge pin inserts. Some people call them pills. I always carry a lot of these because it sucks when you have one, you don't have, you need one, you don't have it. Um, diff case, always good to have a diff case. I got extra shock, lower shock screws. Don't ever want to miss those. We're going to go through this fast. Pinion, 16 tooth pinion for, that's mod one, that's for the e-buggy. I bought some backup wheel nuts for my 10 scale cars. These are the cap head screws, so the um, the shock cap bleeder screws, that's what these are. These are super small. Um, I didn't have any spares, so if I would have dropped it and lost it, and in my office it's actually carpet, so if I would have dropped it in there, I would have never found it. So I needed a lot of these. Um, steering link screws, they were a little special, so I knew I needed those just in case I lost them. Um, three millimeter flange nuts. I guess that's for the shock cap, the shock top. Um, these are the screws. I think I have a whole bunch of these, but I ordered a bunch anyways. But these are the screws that go on the bottom of the chassis. You never want to run out of these. Um, not sure why I ordered these. These probably go in the. I'm not sure why I ordered these. I don't know what these go to, but you can never go wrong with screws. I needed more of these. These you definitely need. These are the the cap head screws that hold the pills on the not the pills. I'm sorry, the hinge pin plates. The A, I believe the A and the D plate use these screws to hold to hold on, so I ordered that. Ordered another carbon fire battery bar because I was missing that. Ordered another low profile wing mount. These are the diff seals for the 10 scale car. Um, out drives, I always have spare out drives. I've had a tendency in the past, I've broken out drives. I, I don't know if these cars break them, they probably don't. But when you break an out drive, it sucks and they're not cheap. Um, these are the diff cases for the 10 scale cars. This is actually comes in a pack of three. Um, that was nice. So I got the, the diff cases for the 10 scale cars. Diff cases. Yeah, these are the diff cases. These are the gear boxes. So I carry, I always stock gear boxes. Um, a lot of times what happens is if you wreck really bad in your shock tower, because your shock tower mounts on your gear box, it will try to, it will rip the screw out of the gear box on the backside of the gear box. So I don't go through these very often, but when I do, usually when I break something, it's gearbox. I usually strip the uh, the screw out of there. So I have the front rear gearbox for the EV. Um, that's for the big car. 
The 10 scale car, the, the little baby buggies, they actually, these are the bulkheads. They call them bulkheads, but they're gearboxes. And they come in a set of the, the full set. So front and rear set, I got those. I got EV410 arms, you need those. Oh, these are the hinge pin inserts for the 10 scale car. Can never have too many of those. This is the suspension arms front for EB410. This is rear for EB410. Let's start organizing some of this stuff. Um, let's see, A scale stuff over here, 10 scale stuff over here, screws. I try to keep my screws and nuts and stuff all in one spot. Gearbox here. Alright, so should be good. Um, yeah, we'll keep that there. Need this. And my wing mounts. So, let's keep going. Got a whole bunch of stuff in here still. Um, outdrives, this is for the EB48. So, always want an extra pair of outdrives. Oh look, this tool. You know what, I don't know what I need this tool for, but this is the the 5.5 millimeter and seven millimeter wrench. A little, it looks like, it looks like turnbuckle wrench, but it's, it's big. I don't know why I need that, but. I bought it because it looked cool. These are the black, the three millimeter black washers, just some more hardware stuff that I wanted. I ordered an extra battery strap thumb screw. Um, I ordered an extra one of these because if you lose it, it sucks. Um, front and rear hinge pins, I believe this is for the, I don't know if this is for the, this doesn't look like it's for the 10 scale car. This looks like it's for the A scale car. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, this looks like for the A-scale car. This is for the A-scale car. Um, these are the inner hinge pins that actually go in the hinge pin screws, or the hinge pin inserts. The reason why I wear these is because when you wreck really bad, which I wreck really bad at times, you bend these. And when you bend them, you don't ever want to bend them back. You just want to get new ones. So I bought some spare ones of those. This is the body mount set for the EV. Oh, look at this. Universal drive shafts. Um, if you ever been to Universal, a lot of times you can bend these back, but I went ahead and ordered, ordered another set just in case. These are the emulsion shock um, diff, diff, emulsion shock O-rings. Got that. Um, I bought an extra pair of emulsion shocks for my EB. I guess I'm scared that I'm gonna. I don't know why I had an extra pair, but I got some. Um, another mod one pinion. This is 17. I think I ordered all different types of sizes. Oh, diff pinion. This is for the EB and ET diff pinion. You always want to spare one of these because when you strip out your your um, ring gear, your diff gear, you want to replace this because a lot of times it will shred that up. Hopefully that doesn't ever happen to me. I forgot to order another one of these. This is the aluminum Ackerman plate for the 10 scale car. We're almost there, guys. Um, shock. Shock X rings for the EB410. Looks like more O rings. This is for the 13 millimeter shocks. I didn't know I ordered this. Interesting. 13 millimeter shocks. These are the shock shock spring retainers. They call them um, locking shock rod and perch set. If you ever you don't really lose these on techno cars because you screw them in, but when you lose them, it sucks. So I want an extra set of those. ET rear arms, ET front arms. This is the drive shafts. This is front rear drive shafts. Good thing the front rear drive shafts are the same for the ET and EB. Whew. Still going, guys. Forgot to order two of these, so I have two of these now. This is the aluminum servo horn for the EB and ET. Wow, 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 where did that on? Order the Oh, see, this is the carbon fiber piece that wasn't in stock when I did all my ordering. This is the carbon fiber top plate for the EB and ET. I'm going to need that, so I'm going to put that over there. I got an extra one for my other, my other car. All EB stuff. This is the drive shaft for the rear. This is important because if this pops out, it's going to be hard to find on the track, so I want to make sure I have those. These are stub axles. If you wreck or someone wrecks into you really bad, those stub axles can break. It's always good to have that. Oh, here's the front outer hinge pins for the EB410. Got those. Oh, here's the hinge pins for the front rear hinge pins for the EB410. 
Um, turnbuckles, these look like for the EB410 also, or the ET410. Ball studs, I've broken ball studs before. I've never broken a techno ball stud, but when you break them, it sucks, so I bought some of those. When you break these, it sucks, I bought some of these. Those are the, uh, the turnbuckles, sway bar ends, steering ends, all the ends. More outer hinge pins. Drive shaft, front and center for the uh, ET. I was, I was wondering if I ordered this. Here is the drive shaft, the rear drive shaft for the EB for EB48. This is for the A scale buggy. This one, if you lose, it's really hard to find. So I have an extra one of those. Um, turnbuckles, that's for the EB48. These little um, steering rack bushings. This is another part that if you lose them, for some reason, good luck on finding them. You don't ever want to make that guy. You don't want to be that guy that's looking for them. That had a big shock shaft. Ordered some extra wings for the EB and ET. I ordered the lightweight wing, the lightweight wing, and the regular wing. I was gonna. I ordered both of them because I want to see the difference. Can't really tell the difference. One looks a little bit thicker than the other. We're almost done, guys. I promise. Um, spur gear for the EB48. More ball studs for the EB410. Oh, these you need. These are the shock cap bushings. Actually, these are the bushings that go on your uh, standoffs. Techno has a upgraded standoff shock standoff kit. I don't have those yet. I need to order them, but I mean, I run these on my SCT, so it's always good to have those. More ball studs, all the different sizes. Ordered some shock boots, just in case I need to replace those. We're almost to the end, guys. ESC tray O-ring. So these are the O-rings that go under your ESC on your EB48s or all your um, electric A-scale stuff. I actually glue these in. I shouldn't lose these, but if I lose them, again, that's another one that's kind of crappy to go find. Here's a diff pinion for... Hmm. Hold on, maybe I threw the wrong diff pinion. So this diff pinion actually goes on the... This must go on the... A scale car, because this is the 10 scale car one, dipping. and then an extra ring gear, just in case I bust that up, and then an A scale wing. Whew, that's a lot of stuff. So those are, this is pretty much all my 10 scale spares. I have more A scale spares, but that's it. That's techno order, that's 72 parts. Basically, I keep a running list of parts that I know I need as I'm building, parts that I think I'm gonna lose, that I don't wanna have to, uh, I don't want to have, I'm, I'm worried, like, I don't ever want to be in a situation where I can't find a piece or I got to be that guy that goes and walks around and finds a piece, so I go ahead and just order everything. So I got a whole bunch of spares, needless to say. So that was 13 minutes. That's a long vlog for just from spare parts, but this one was kind of boring, but this is what I order. I get these questions all the time. This is what I ordered, and those are the spares I carry in a nutshell. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell and you guys will see me next time. Later guys.